Hello students. In this video we're going to consider a set H um, and we want to see if it is a subspace of the vector space R2 which is the Cartesian plane. So let's take a look at um, R2 first. All right, that's our good old XY plane here, two-dimensional plane. And then H is the set of points so that when you multiply the coordinates you get something that's greater than or equal to zero. Well, okay, certainly that'll be if both coordinates are positive, but it'll also be the case if both coordinates are negative, or if both coordinates are zero, and that'll include the axes as well. So to determine whether or not H is a subspace of <coughs> this uh, vector space, if uh, the set of points in these two quadrants um, constitutes a subspace of the vector space R2, um, we're gonna test these three conditions. We wanna see is zero in the subset, we want to know that for any u and v in the subset H, that means any vector in this quadrant or any vector in this quadrant, um, is the sum of the vectors u plus v also in um, these two quadrants. And then we want to know for any scalar k in um, R, which is our real number, so for any number k and any u in H, that means any vector in one of these two quadrants, um, is k times u also in the set H. So let's go through these um, three tests. So the zero vector is the coordinate essentially 0, 0. So that's when x is 0 and y is 0. And you just test it. Here's your condition for testing whether or not um, your vector is in this um, set. So um, well, we take x is 0 and we multiply by y is 0 and 0 times 0 is 0 and 0 is certainly greater than or equal to 0. So check, 0 is in the set H. However, let's take a look um, and see if um, u plus v is in H for any u or v in H. Um, I actually um, claim that the answer to this is no and I can find a counterexample. What if you have um, the vector u, which is minus 4, 4. Now minus 4, 4 is somewhere in this quadrant, certainly. And 2, 6 is in this quadrant, certainly. Now watch what happens when I add these two vectors together. u plus v is, right, I have minus 4, 4 plus 2, 6. So minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. Minus 4 plus 6 is 2. And that gives me the vector minus 2, 2. Now look, the vector minus 2, 2 is here in this quadrant, which is not in the set h. It has to be in these two quadrants. So no, u plus v is not in H. So we say that um, this set is not closed under vector addition. Now let's just test the third case, OK? Um, we've already answered the question uh, that H is not a subspace of the vector space v. But let's just take a look at the third um, condition. Um, it'll be instructive. So. <clears throat> If we take some number, some real number, and we multiply by any vector in H, any vector in these two quadrants, we want to know is k times the vector in H. And the answer to that is going to be yes. And here's why. Let's say that you have u, which is equal to xy, and it's in the set H. So that means u is in this quadrant or this quadrant. That means it satisfies the condition that x times y, this x times y, is already greater than or equal to 0. Now take this um, number k and multiply it by u. That means you multiply each coordinate by k, so you get a kx and a ky. Watch what happens. I'm going to run the test and see is kx, ky in this set h. So I have to run this test. I have to multiply the coordinates, and then I have to um, see if that product is greater than or equal to 0. Well, if I take kx times ky, then k times k gives me k squared, and x times y. So I already know that x times y is greater than or equal to 0. That's the condition for u to be in h. And k squared does not change the direction of the inequality, because k squared is a positive, or at least a non-negative number. k could be 0 as well. So k squared times xy does not change this condition that is greater than or equal to 0. So ku is in the set H, and so we say that yes, it satisfies the condition, and yes, this set H is closed under scalar multiplication. So here's a case where the set satisfies two of the conditions, okay, zeros in the set, 
and the sets closed under scalar multiplication. However, it fails one of the conditions, and that is it is not closed under vector addition. So um, the answer to uh, this uh, question is um, H, a subspace of the vector space uh, V. The answer to this is no, because you did not pass all three conditions. You failed one of the conditions, and that was this condition um, right here. Um, that it is not closed under vector addition. All right, good luck.